This amazing story happened to one old and small robot, serial number C4N, whom other robots called Just Kenny. The robot city had a strict policy about the renovation of outdated robots, and the cold nuclear fusion generator that was powering C4N had long been considered environmentally hostile. Kenny had to be put to sleep and woken up later with a new, polished, and shining body. He did fall asleep and saw a very strange dream. Everything around him came to a halt and started to get covered with rust and moss and wanted to run away but couldn't move. He wanted to scream but he barely had enough energy to squeak. Eventually, he woke up. What happened to the city of robots? Why did all the robots stop moving? Did anyone survive except him? The little rusty canny had to do all he could to find answers to these questions and try to fix it all.
Ariel, and I thought I would never see a living robot again. But how is it that you are still working? Solar cells? Why, of course. You must be the only remaining robot with such remarkable archaic modules. Well, 54 years have passed since that dark day, but I remember it as if it were yesterday. Everyone was going about their business when the great black wings appeared in the sky. The black wings of a dragon. Yes, yes, a real dragon. It was a vicious and relentless beast. It landed on the tower, clasped its claws around the crystal and crushed it. The crystal's enormous energy was released in a brilliant flash and all life in our city stopped. And I, I am the one to blame. Yes, it is all my fault. After all, I was the watchman, and it was my duty to protect the crystal, but I failed. I myself can still move only because I am close to its ruins. Until now, I thought that I survived only as a punishment for my guilt. But now, I see that together we have a chance to make everything right. After the crystal had been destroyed, four of five beams from the power sources are indeed broken, but the last to the north, miraculously remains undamaged. If you could manage to start the standby generator in the basement, perhaps I could activate the teleport to the northern lands. Take my stick, it is the key to the basement.
Zero and one. Kenny, you started the generator. No one knows what happened to the power stations in the provinces. Everything must have been completely eaten with rust there. But if we were able to repair those beams and focus them in the tower once again, we would have a chance to grow a new great crystal. You are a real robot, Kenny. If only I had been as brave that day. I will wait for your radio signal here, and good luck, my friend. Although Canny was a robot, he did not trust teleports too much. And though he seemed calm on the outside, deep inside he was afraid. However, dimensional transport of matter went off without a hitch. The northern province appeared to be a desolate but beautiful place. For a moment, Canny even forgot why he had come here, when suddenly... Greetings, Traveler. I see that you have an independent power supply, haven't you? After we had lost all means of communication with the city, I became a hermit and learned to extract energy from the world around us. Back then, I found a cave, and it revealed something to me. I found that everything around us, the earth, wind, and sun, is full of energy, but we just let it slip through our fingers like sand. Do you want me to teach you? Hmm. I guess I can open up the cave for you. Once inside, you will discover its secrets for yourself. Yet, in order to conduct the ritual, I will require a handful of crystals and a new electrolyte boiler.
Like everything is ready to go. A more cato de lorato socketo on procrato. Go forth and discover the secrets of the cave.
that's a brand new power module for the mountain base. I haven't seen anything like it for ages. It seems that the cave gives its visitors what they need the most. Venture forth towards your destiny, traveler, and I will ask the wind and sun to guide your way.